Welcome back to The Bank Guide. I'm your bank guy, Colin, and today is another episode in the 5-Minute Logic Expert series where I'm bringing you 30 tips and tricks for recording, mixing, and mastering in Logic, basically just making music in Logic. And this whole series is designed to take you from wherever you are currently to more or less an expert in Logic in the shortest amount of time possible. So if you're a beginner, this is definitely for you. If you've been making music in Logic for a while, this is definitely for you. And today we're looking at the producer kits. This is one of the most powerful things that Logic has that they don't have in GarageBand in terms of the drums and drums are a huge part of your mix of getting the sound of your song the way you want it to and the producer kits give you so much flexibility so much control in literally just a click of a button so let's jump into logic and take a look at it and before we get into it i will mention that this is the first step in my make logic drum sound real guide if you don't already have it be sure to pick it up for free from the link in the description below this guide just walks through a few things you can do to take logic drums from sounding a little bit fakey to sounding way more realistic this is the first step in that guide because it is a huge part of getting more control over them. But there's a lot more you can do, so be sure to grab that guide. So we have our drums here, and if you've been following along, we customized a part a little bit using the Logic Drummer, then we used MIDI to really perfect it. And now what I wanna show you is how you can use these producer kits to get way more control. So the first thing you need to do is hit Y on the keyboard to bring up your library, or you can press this little button up here. This will bring up your library. And all you have to do is go down to producer kits, and now you'll see all the same names that you saw before, but they have little pluses after them. So if we just take the SoCal kit that we are currently using and change it to a producer kit, you might not notice anything, but this added a little arrow here. And if I click on that arrow, it's going to expand out and show me all of the different tracks now to that drummer track. So this is what's called a track stack, which is basically a little folder that I can fold up or collapse out. And within it, I have all these different elements and I can individually process the individual elements. So here in this song, I have, let's say, a kick drum. And they have a two mics, so you have two different sounds you can blend together and process individually. I have the overheads, which are kind of like the mics above the kit, getting the overall drum sound. I have the individual snare top, snare bottom. You get full control and you can completely mix this. Now, it actually doesn't even end there. You, the fact that you get all those tracks broken out for you is awesome, but you actually get even more. You get a lot of flexibility when it comes to customizing it. So if you look at your overheads, you'll see above them, there's this little plugin right here. It's above the processing plugins. This is a software instrument plugin. And if you click on that, it brings up the drum kit designer. And the drum kit designer is exactly what it sounds like. It is a way for us to customize what all the individual parts are of the drum kit. It is a designer for the drum kit. So if I want to change out this kick drum sound or just try different kick drum sounds, I can try out different kick drum sounds. If I want to try out different tom sounds, I can try out different tom sounds and I can find exactly the right sounds for my drum kit. And then within it, you can even uh, turn up the volume of just the toms. I could turn, I could take this snare. I like the sound of the snare, but maybe I want to tune it down just a little bit. Maybe bring it down until it's a really deep sounding snare, right? So a lot of control over it. And I recommend doing this in the context of your song within reason. So if you have kind of a loose idea sketched out of your song, a scratch track or just some guitars and vocals recorded, just to have an idea of what the song is, that's when I recommend getting to this granular level. But before you start mixing, so you can really tailor these elements to fit in the context of your song before you start mixing it. So that is a producer kit, and it is a super powerful tool that I think is amazing. And the fact that you get it built into Logic is pretty awesome. Now, if you don't already have the Make Logic Drum Sound Real Checklist, be sure to grab it from the link in the description below. It's really gonna help you out. If this video is helpful, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow with another five minute Logic Expert. One thing at a time, I can